frost my windshield. But anyway, happy Tuesday today. It'll probably be Thursday when you're seeing this video. Heading to the gym to do this god awful qualifier workout. I am gonna do the team qualifiers with two girls from my old gym. I think I talked about this in a previous vlog, can't remember. But uh, today's qualifier workout is terrible. It's 20 rounds of one devil's press, two dumbbell thrusters, and three burpee box jumps over burpee box jump overs it's just like such a long boring workout but with short reps so I'm not sure how this is gonna go if you're interested in those workouts I'll put the Wadapalooza workouts in the description if you care if not just welcome to the video you already know what I had for pre-workout and then we'll get along with this full day of eating before I even make my shake I'm taking uh, Maddie's acid indigestion relief I mentioned this in my favorites video um, I don't know if I, I think I talked about this on my channel. Let me give you an up close look at the bottle because that was not in focus. <laughs> um, this is just like what the ingredients are on the side. You can read that and then the actual blend. When I did a GI map, when I graduated NTP school, which if you don't know, I'm a nutrition, nutritional therapy practitioner. Um, I graduated in August and right when I was graduating, I did GI map and a lot of times with like gut imbalances people think that they have like too much acid and they'll take you know anti-acids things like that and a lot of doctors will prescribe ppis uh, prescription anti-acids when it comes to stomach issues especially if they're like having heartburn indigestion and all that and so anyways um i it actually turned out that i was not producing enough acid so I was looking for an acid indigestion relief that was pro acid. So this is all natural drug free and it's got uh, 1,500 milligrams of apple cider vinegar powder, coriander seed powder, turmeric root powder, clove bud powder, and ginger root powder, which ginger is very soothing for the stomach and your digestion as well. Apple cider vinegar is just really helpful for that because it contains acetic acid, probiotics, um, vitamins and enzymes that are really good for digestion, heartburn, anything like that. And then curcumin is the main component of turmeric, which is also an anti-inflammatory slash like antioxidant blend to help with indigestion. The time I'm having that, like I've, I kind of, I don't know if it was the workout or what, but I was feeling like a little bit <laughs> indigestion and heartburn. So I always take two right at the start of when I'm feeling it and it helps so much. I love this. Plus I just love that there's no like added flavors, aluminum, calcium, anything like that. So I just took two because my tummy is having a little bit of indigestion. <laughs> but now I'm going to make my post-workout shake. So I'm actually going to take the girls for a walk now. It is 11 um, because this morning when I woke up, it was 20 degrees. So we do not go on walks when it is below 30 in this household. And now it is a whopping 41 degrees. So that's much more enjoyable. So let's make a shake. And you know I got to show you the consistency. Look at that. Frozen banana, my friends. And also, if you haven't seen my Instagram reels, I make so many different types of smoothies on there. Recently, I just did a peppermint one because it's the holiday time soon. But this is my post-workout shake and I'm gonna go do some work and clean the kitchen. These little uh, pretzilla burger buns, pretzel buns, absolutely fantastic. Would highly recommend for any types of sandwiches. They are great on breakfast sandwiches as well. Um, but you, ow, but you know me, I am, a big fan of my bagel. So this is my lunch and I am going to of course have a little Reese's mini pumpkin because these are leftover from Halloween and it is 1245 So I'm gonna eat this really quick because I have a client call at 1 and Then I'm probably just gonna do Like a light bite to kind of flush my legs out that workout this morning didn't destroy me as much as I thought it would It was actually really not that bad. I Found that like If I do an intense workout like that some type of qualifier and then I just sit the remainder of the day the following day I will feel it like way worse so probably in a couple of hours maybe at like 3 30 or 4 i'll do just like a 30 minute like light bike nothing like with heavy resistance 
and then I'm gonna have chicken thighs for dinner tonight. How many times can I have chicken thighs on a full day of eating video? I'm just curious. I'm always like bending down at my countertop. It's uh, 2.30 and I have to go do errands. I just did two hours of client work and Austin brought these home. These are like these little outright s'mores bars. I had a really negative experience with these when I tried them before. So I kind of wanted to just do a, a very small taste test first before I commit. <laughs> this is peanut butter s'mores. Oh, good consistency. Kind of reminds me of like a perfect bar. Okay, not bad. Uh, for the whole bar is 12 fat, 27 carbs, and 15 protein. This is actually a really like big sized bar. Hold on. Look at how like big and thick this bar. So I think I'm just gonna do half, a little mid-afternoon snack before I leave my house. I always feel like I need to have a snack before I leave, you know? Too late in the day for coffee, so. It's actually really good. It has a slight, slight uh, protein aftertaste, but really not too bad. Today is also hair wash day for me, which is why I have not taken down my cockatoo hair yet. <laughs> I'll do it after my bike. <laughs> of chicken thighs, uh, 130 grams of jasmine rice. I honestly don't weigh my veggies. I just kind of feel like that's excessive. So about a cup of veggies and then some lime crema sauce to top it off with some lime juice. And this is my dinner at 5.30 and I will probably have another snack. Actually, I know I will, <laughs> uh, maybe in like an hour and a half. It is 6.30, I know it looks like it's nine o'clock at night because good old Iowa and the uh, time zones, daylight savings. <laughs> I am going to have this little Trader Joe's hold the cones. I really wanted the pumpkin one and I was just there like, I don't know, three weeks ago and the lady was like, oh, that was a seasonal flavor. And I was like, I thought it was still seasonal. What happened? These are not dairy free. Um, I do get a slight stomach ache. <laughs> but they're so good. And it's so small, so like the stomach ache you know, on a smaller scale than a normal like serving of ice cream. Anyways, I have my coffee shop music vibes going. Austin is still not home from work yet. So I'm just gonna wrap up some client check-ins. I have like three more. And then I'm going to park my butt on the couch and walk, watch TikToks. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this little full day of eating. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and click subscribe so you never miss Monday and Thursday with Manners. And I'll see you guys in my next video.